question which seems to come up again and again, um, for me at any rate, and I regularly have to try to explain it to people, is how to take the sounding length measurement of a flute, um, which is helpful for establishing the pitch a flute was designed to play at, or the pitch range at any rate. Um, so, what is the sounding length? It is from the centre of the embouchure hole, so you know you have to imagine a line crossing the hole, the centre of the embouchure hole, to the extremity of the foot end, which is the you know the defining length of the tube. It's not from either end of the embouchure hole, nor is it from the face of the stopper inside here, and it certainly isn't the overall length from the top of a flute. Um, that distance between the embouchure and the crown of a flute is very variable from make to make and, and the overall length of a flute doesn't necessarily tell you anything very much about it um, because of the variability of that section with the stopper in it. So, how to measure the sounding length most easily? For a start, I find it easiest, uh, doesn't matter whether we're talking boom flute or simple system or anything in between, um, it's easiest if you rotate the head so that the embouchure hole is in line with some clear space along the tube so that you haven't got keys in the way of your tape measure. Um, and make sure everything is pushed fully together, that there's no gaps in any of the joints. It doesn't matter if that's not where you tune the flute to play in tune at whatever reference pitch. To take a sounding length for it to be a, a comparable um, piece of data um, to compare with other flutes, you need it to be closed up. Um, you might also mention the length at which it plays in tune at A440 or whatever, but the basic one is that full length. So, you get a handy tape measure, and I find it easiest usually to hook the, the tab of the tape measure over the foot end, and then you just stretch the, whoops, stretch the tape, let's lock it so it doesn't do that, stretch the tape along the body and you read off as close by eye as you can to the centre of the embouchure hole. So if I just bring this up to the camera, you can see it crossing the embouchure hole and I make that reading 575 millimeters exactly you need to do it to the millimeter or if you're a, <laughs> a backwards rebellious colonial and still use imperial measurements then do it to the 16th of an inch uh, which in this case would be uh, 22 inches and um, well it's just over five eighths uh, not quite as much as, as the next 16th. But anyway, so to the 16th of an inch. But uh, it's... Whoops, I slipped. What am I doing? Yeah. Because this flute's got slightly rounded end. I've come off the end. But anyway, so that one's 575. You do exactly the same thing on, on a boom system flute. Just make sure the head's pushed fully in. Turn it round so that the embouchure is in line with the clear run with no mechanism in the way. Hook the tab of your tape measure over the end and up to the embouchure and you can see hopefully that this one is a typical modern pitch boom flute sounding length of 600 millimeters uh, which is what in inches? 23 and yeah that's 23 and 5 eighths if you've got to have it in inches but uh, 600 mil uh, is your sounding length for an A440 boom flute or at least the ones before all the Cooper scales and things they might be just a tiny bit shorter but um, yeah actually what measurements tell you what pitch is is not something I'm going to try and explain on uh, on a video, um, data available elsewhere, maybe. Uh, but that's how you take a sounding length. Tape measure, foot end to centre of embouchure hole.
Okay.